Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Nocella, and by the end of this video, you should be able to solve for missing sides of right triangles using trigonometric ratios. So in this problem, we're asked to determine the length of the missing side. So what we do with every single problem, the very first step, we want to go ahead and label our sides. So we know that this angle right here is 73 degrees, so therefore the side across from that angle or opposite of the angle, we're going to label with O for opposite. The one next to it, or touching it, but that's not the hypotenuse, is adjacent. And the side across from the 90 degree angle is always the hypotenuse. So now that we have our sides labeled, we have to determine which trig ratio do we want to use. So a lot of us like to use the SOKOTOA, so I'm going to write that out. So ka toa And again, there are many different ways to write this. This is just one helpful way that again a student showed me in one of my previous classes. So we are trying to figure out which trig ratio to use. Well if we go ahead and look at the information we're given we know the opposite side is 14 and we know that x or the value that we're trying to solve is on the adjacent side. So we have to figure out which trig ratio uses opposite and adjacent. Looking at our SOKOTOA, we see that tangent uses opposite and adjacent. So therefore, we're going to set up a, an equation using, using tangent. So we know that the tangent of our angle, which is 73 degrees, is equal to the ratio of the opposite side over the adjacent side. So it's equal to 14 over x. Sometimes it's nice to write tangent of 73 over 1. And the reason we do that is now we have a problem that we've seen before, which involves cross multiplication to solve. So typically it's nice when we write tangent of 73 over 1. You don't have to, but I definitely encourage this because it's a really helpful strategy. So in order to solve this, we need to first figure out what is tangent of 73. So we're going to go ahead and plug that into our calculators. And when we plug that in, making sure that you're in degree mode, you should get that the tangent of 73 is approximately 3.2709. We're going to round to four decimal places to try to keep it a little bit more accurate. I encourage definitely to round to two or three for purposes of solving these problems. To solve this problem, we're going to cross multiply. So what we are left with is 3.2709x is equal to 14. To get x by itself, we know we have to divide both sides by 3.2709. So we get that x is approximately 4.3. Thanks work.